Hello everyone, welcome to the Penguin Coders. In this video, we will be learning how to set up personal access token authentication for using GitHub with Android Studio. So as you all might be aware that GitHub recently announced in their blog post in December that starting from August 13, 2021, which is a two months due. So they will be suspending username and password authentication while authenticating any operation on GitHub. So we will be requiring to set up a personal access token on GitHub and we will be needing to use that personal access token for any operations which we want to do in Android Studio such as sharing a project, committing anything, pushing your code and all the related GitHub activities which we want to perform. So in this video we will be setting up a personal access token on GitHub and then we will be integrating that personal access token with Android Studio so that the entire workflow is complete and we will be able to use github directly from android studio so let's get started so suppose i have this android studio project which i have to integrate with my github account so i created a sample project here and i will set up my github account uh, with this android repository to work on also you one more thing that you whenever you set up a github uh, account with android studio it will not just work for that project, but it will be able to, you will be able to work with that GitHub account for rest of all your projects on it. So I'll go to the top menu bar and click on select and select VCS, which is version control. And then I'll go and click on import into version control. So import into version control, we will try to share this project on GitHub. So as of now, I haven't created this project on github i haven't logged in anything so we will be this is currently showing the old method login and password so password is we will be either we can use this for now which will be used to generate a github token and then use it otherwise we will directly use the option use token so that we will be able to uh, use the new new benefits and the new feature which uh, github is offering from august so I'll click on use token and now I need to paste my token here. So the token should have been generated on github.com in your settings and it should have the following access parameters. So now either you can click on this generate option or we can directly go to the repo and generate a GitHub token to be authenticated with our Android studio. So I'll click on generate and it redirects me to a new personal access token page which you can either get by going into your github account and clicking on your profile icon on the top right and clicking on settings so go to settings and at the bottom you will find that there is an option called developer settings developer settings then you will need to go to personal access tokens and this will show all the tokens which you currently have so I have these two tokens which are you very old and I use it on my different laptop. So you in Android Studio there. So these are the two tokens and I can go and click on generate new token here. So I'll click on generate new token and the same screen appears which GitHub which Android Studio has redirected me to. So I'll use this Android Studio screen and the note here is the token name which you want to give so it's android studio github integration plugin so i can say like android studio for mac and remove this so i can rename it if i have different android studio for my different laptops and i can uh, re re remind that now there is some scopes which are required for what the token will be able to do so my token the github uh, the android studio requires three three scopes to be selected the first one is repo then there is admin read.org and then is gist so these three repo these three scopes are required because the repo is will be used to create a new repository and all the related tasks related to that repository will be done by this scope it will be possible admin or greed.org is required suppose if you want to import any project from github.com to your android studio and that will need android studio to read all the projects on your github account and and subsequently 
import it into Android Studio. So for that, read org is required. Then gist, so you can you will be directly able to create a gist directly from Android Studio and post it to GitHub. So these three are required. So I'll click on generate token and this creates a token. So this token and we get a token number here and also we get one warning that make sure to copy your personal access token and you won't be able to see it again. So this is done for security purposes and you need to make sure that you copy it otherwise you will lose this token and you will need to generate the new token again for usage. So I'll just copy this token and I'll paste this token in my share project on github window. So use token I'll click on paste and I'll click on login. So now it loads the information and yeah I have the information and github has currently correctly loaded this so sharing project on github I can share the project by adding the repository name so it's sample app and I can choose whether I want my repository to be private or public for now I'll choose it private and remote will be origin and I can add any description so sample app sample app for android github integration so this is optional you want if you don't want to write you can you can leave this field so i'll click on share and it says okay we cannot have space in between so i'll just put a underscore and i'll click on share so you can see that that it says uh, what what files we, i have to allow to add to my new repository and i can choose or leave anything and the commit message so commit message i'll choose as initial commit and I'll click on add. The message says that successfully shared project on GitHub. So if you aren't able to see, I'll just show you. So you can see that successfully shared project on GitHub is clearly shown here. And I'll just click on this link itself to open browser window and I will be able to see that my sample app, which I just created 30 seconds ago, has been pushed to my GitHub account. So this completes the integration of GitHub to your Android Studio and from now you will be able to use your GitHub account to Android Studio without worrying about the token or password update uh, whichever is coming in August 2021. So thank you for watching this video and if you like this video you can share it with your other developers who might, who might require this. So thanks for watching and please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.